Rick's Tool Time. Hello and welcome to Rick's Tool Time. Again, it's another glorious day, but we're not here for that. Let's take a look at this Kita workbench. So here we have it, the foldable workbench. Incredibly easy to set up. I just pop that there. If I just hold on to the sides, press these two tabs, that drops out. So that allows me to pop everything on the work surface, meaning it's not going to get wet on the floor. I'm not having to bend over to get into that box to get my screws and my plugs out. So let's run through some of these features. You're probably thinking, well, it opened up easily enough. Is it going to close easily enough? Yes, it will. However, if we just pop this in like so, if I pull that tight on the top here, it will show you that it's locked into position. So now that we've got it in locked in place, we can have use it as a workbench as is, but let's say we want to cut something on it. So we've got a bit of tray, a bit of trunking. We need to lock it into place. We've got some adjustable G clamps, which are nicely fitted into the bottom here. So with the G clamp, we can adjust the head this way. Once that's in, we can slide it into the bench up there and then closely into here which locks that into position so we've got a second one around this other side here and again if we just repeat what we did on the first one let's just adjust that one ever so slightly pop that in slide that on there squeeze the handle and then there we go i just pop that into there a nice little feature with these clamps is the fact that this slides so imagine that that was open fully and we started to clamp these away by the time you got to this section, let's say, once it was clamped in, you're going to have this stabbing you in the leg or in your groinal area. But with this one, if I just push that one back, if I were to just pull that little trigger in there, slide it up here, let's say my material's that wide, clamp that in, as you can see there, it's not sticking out so much, is it? Also, just to mention with this, the way that you lock it into this bench, let's say, is if we squeeze this handle and up, when the handle is open, it actually locks it into the bench. So if I squeeze that, slide it into the slot there, release the handle, it ain't coming back out. So today we're only going to use the workbench, so we don't actually need the clamps. So let's remove them. And again, as you saw earlier where I removed them from, I can just pop them both back in there. Take that one out of there, stick it under there for now. I pop the bag, a few tools, and maybe even some screws and washers to save my back. Now I've run through a few features on the workbench. I've got to fit these Laseco Essence floodlights. So let me know, is it great or is it a gimmick? Get your votes in, but till then, I'll see you on the flip side. ta -da. Absolutely soaking wet. Can't believe it. Rick's Tool Time.